Hey everybody, it's Kenny here in San Antonio and I'm just doing a little video and I'm outside and Chewy, I took Chewy for a walk and it's getting a little warm here in San Antonio and I'm in the shade and the light is, it is what it is, okay, sorry. And they're doing some kind of construction back there. I live near a railroad track. I was looking for bees. Uh, I live near a railroad track, and um, but it's not that bad. It doesn't bother me. You know, I remember years ago when I first moved here that I didn't think I could sleep with the railroad track, but it's a noise that you sort of, you're used to, so it's no biggie. So hey, uh, I just want to say that I've been on keto for the last seven months. I lost 58 pounds and seven and a half inches around my waist. Yay! So something... <laughs> I'm flipping y'all off. That's a lot of noise. So, some things that I've learned with the ketogenic diet is um, when you cheat, not to beat yourself up, okay? And we're all guilty of that. We're all guilty about, you know, being good and, uh, ooh, I'm really sweaty. Uh, you know, being good and doing what's right. And then, um, you know, we just want that, you know. And, uh, you know, we've been so good and it's like, hey, I want that. Whatever that is, we want, right? Uh, some things I've learned is, um, one, uh, don't beat yourself up. Two, um, get right back on the horse and start riding. Um, and one thing that I've, I, I've learned, and this is a lesson I've learned recently, that even if you uh, fail and uh, or fall off the wagon or, or decide to uh, eat something that has a lot of carbs in it, uh, one thing that I've learned to do, don't do a fast as punishment. You know, I believe in intermittent fasting. I belong, uh, I believe in extended fasting, but I won't fast to punish myself. I will fast for, to fast. You know what I mean? You know, because um, you don't want to see fasting as a punishment. So, um, so you just, once you've had whatever you had that you shouldn't have had, you just get back on, start back on the keto. And as simple as that, you know, and we're all, we're all humans and we have, you know, things that we crave or want, you know, and you know, I can't see one little um, indiscretion, one little cheat um, um, with uh, as bad as, you know, like the last seven months, you know. Uh, w one thing I've always told myself and I've decided, you know, one thing I've always told myself is if it's a special thing, birthday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, wedding, uh, it's okay to enjoy yourself. And you know, and on top of that is there's something that you just haven't had for a long time and you see it and you know, you know, I really, really want that and take it, eat it, enjoy it, you know, but don't punish yourself afterwards, you know, so, you know, I know some people will say, well, you know, once you eat it, you're gonna be out of ketosis and, you know, and it's gonna take you a long time, you know, to do this and, and, and to do that to get back on in ketosis. That might be true and it may not be, but one thing is don't beat yourself up, you know, it's just one, it's like, 365 days you're good that one day you have a donut it's okay have the donut enjoy it have two donuts you know just enjoy it but don't punish yourself and don't do a fast right afterwards what do you do you go back you, you do what you've always been doing you do your keto and that's all anyway I know this is sort of preachy sorry about that I just sort of feel preachy so it's been July um, Happy 4th of July. It's seven months since I've been on keto. I'm happy about that. I thought I went less a day. Anyway, so with that being said, whoever sees this and when you see this, I hope you're having a good day. Bye for now.